Welcome back to wagertalk.com. Monday night football, New Orleans against Chicago in the Windy City. Brian, when they did this one at the beginning of the season, they had to say, this is going to be a great December matchup. You're going to get the Saints looking to home, you know, maybe home field advantage in the playoffs. Chicago in a dogfight with Green Bay. Got an outdoor, you got an indoor team having to go to Soldier Field in December. You know, all kinds of, we got nothing here. <laughs> this is two teams that right now, I don't know which one uh, is more disappointing, to be honest with you. Just, just think, if this was week one, this would have been a huge matchup. Absolutely. Now, the only reason people, here, here at NFL, the only reason people are watching this game is because they got to bet on it, okay? Yeah, really? People bet on the people, NFL? I heard that. I heard that. Oh, my God. Don't tell a commissioner that. <laughs> I think the NBA commissioner has probably told him that. The NBA commissioner probably bets on it, too. Uh, <laughs> the uh, situation here, the Saints, as bad as it is, they're still alive in the playoffs. They're in a division that nobody wants. I, I mean, can you, how could you get excited about, you know, normally if your team's, you know, four and seven, five and seven, whatever, and they send out time to send in for your playoff tickets, you know, season ticket holder, you, you just like, you chuckle and laugh. They're serious here. <laughs> they, they can make the playoffs. Atlanta's in the driver's seat, but they, you know, they had a chance to open up some ground on Monday night against the Packers, but obviously they weren't going to win at Lambeau, but they, they made it a lot closer. And at the end of the game, it was interesting, that final drive with Green Bay when they were only up six and they were still running the football. I could hear... Vegas, all the sports book operators, they had to be like, you know, a long tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs because if Green Bay punched that last touchdown in, would have made it 12. They're not going to kick the extra point. They're going to go for two to make it a full 14, which would have nailed matter, no matter what line people bet it at, they would have, you and know, the over it already. Yeah, the over was, uh, you know, that was over what, third quarter? I think somebody gave that out last week Did they? here on a video. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I think, he's, I think he's the guy wearing the suit, but I'm not sure. That must have been a mistake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Yeah, because you had to get a shot in. I had to get a shot in. I got to yeah. prepare my jokes more than that. Yeah. Um, I don't want either one of these teams. I'm telling you. Oh, by the way, I never remember what I was going to say. Tampa Bay, well, they got two wins on the season? Yeah, they're not mathematically out Yeah, they're of still in the playoff race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you see that? Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I can't pick either one of these teams. The first thing I thought of when this line came out of three, I said, how the hell could New Orleans be a three-point favorite over anybody? And like, oh, yeah, they're yeah. playing the Bears. Yeah. How do you trust either one of these teams at this well, point? You don't. In, in the Saints, they lose three in a row at home. Then they go on the road and beat the Steelers, who then the following week puts up 41 on Cincinnati. And New Orleans, just to give me that little – and I had I, – I, was texting uh, some people on Sunday. I said, you know Carolina. This just to kick me, I'll say it, kick me right in the That balls. Carolina's a pretty good team. Yeah, I can't really, believe yeah. you didn't win that bet against me in the contest. Yeah, I know. To go in there and do what they did to the Saints. But here's a team, as bad as things are going for the Saints, they have something to play for. Chicago has nothing to play for other than pride. And they had an opportunity Thursday night to play for pride when they played the Cowboys, and they laid an egg there. And that game was not as close as the final score. The final score might look like it was a 13-point game. They rallied with, you know, onside kick and scored a couple late touches to make it closer than it was. And Dallas went into total prevent defense. The offensive players were actually visibly upset on the sidelines of what the, the Cowboy defense was doing in giving up the chunks of yardage the way they were to Chicago. This is pick the lesser of two evils. The Bears, and I don't like to say this about people and the teams, but the Bears have no heart. You, they've had you so many. They quit. You can yeah, say Yeah, they've it. quit. They've quit. They quit like uh, the Wisconsin defense did against Ohio State. That was pretty. Yeah. And I had Ohio State in that game. You did, and congratulations. That yeah, was that, was a a big, that was my biggest play in a while. Sorry about that one on Sunday that you lost to somebody. I'll be, I, you were right. You you beat me in a lunch bet. Like I said, it's getting awful cold here in Las Vegas. But uh, you were on the correct side, sir. There's no doubt about it. There was there was no right side, wrong side. You were on the right side. I appreciate it. And you notice that I'm a more gracious winner you, than, well, than somebody else. You're not else used to it as often as I am. <laughs> oh, I love you, guy. <laughs> Back to this one. 
we got to we got to take a side here, and I'm going to go with New Orleans. I just think Drew Brees over Jay Cutler. Uh, Jay Cutler. What drives me crazy? Okay. All of the good quarterbacks in the league, if Tom Brady's having a bad game, and he's had bad games, he's on the sideline getting in the face of his teammates and firing them up or yelling at receivers that run a, a bad route. I look at Jay Cutler, and it doesn't matter what the score is. This is him on the sideline. No emotion, no nothing. I want to see some fire. I want, I want somebody. He's your leader. Who's going to follow this guy into a fire? Tell me. Why would you want to follow him into a fire? <laughs> well, you're supposed what to. What kind of question is that? that? You know, football players are supposed to be tough. Go into a burning building, whatever. You're taking them into a fight. This guy, I, I he looks like he's ready to go have he's, brunch. He's been that way when he was back at uh, Vanderbilt. He's the same personality. He doesn't have many friends on the team, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, yeah, I, I think Chicago, there's no way I could play Chicago. I, I, like I said, I think they've quit. Uh, let's see if New Orleans has some heart from themselves. Yeah. I'd like to go the square route and say, well, let's just take the over. They're going to score a lot of points. The only concern I have is we have seen over time that the Saints, their offense doesn't perform the same outdoors, on grass, and we're talking about the elements that you could have. That, you know, it's going to be cold in Chicago. That's why I don't want to, you know, maybe come game day, I might feel differently. But right now, to me, the lesser of two evils, the safer bet, I think, is to back the Saints, and especially at two and a half, three points, where we're just asking them to win the game. I got more confidence in Drew Brees bouncing back than I do Jay Cutler. I, both defenses are horrendous, so you'd want to take the over. But these aren't last year's offenses either. If it was last year's offenses, this year's defenses, you score 100 points in this game. But they won't be getting my money. I will not be investing in this Monday Night Football game. There you go. All right. Well, you have it. I'm going to go with the Saints. I've got them winning this one. 31-23. We'll take New Orleans. Lay the points on Monday night. Guys, um, Monday Night Football, we always tell you about $2 Tuesday. You could head over to wagertalk.com. We highlight one of our cappers, give his best bet away for $2 on Tuesday. Check that out. Also, we launched our new forms last week. Very excited about the new forms and very excited about adding a hockey expert to the forms. He's going to be sharing his information. This guy has been gold. Check him out. He'll be giving his stuff away free in the forums and if you're new to our forums guys sign up make 10 posts and email support at wagertalk.com after you've made your 10th post we'll send you ten dollars we'll put it in your account you can spend it any way you want at wagertalk.com he's brian leonard i'm marco d'angelo thanks for watching this week's videos best of luck cash a lot of tickets we'll be back next week with more nfl in college action